Good morning to dear students. So today I am going to start the next topic of chapter 9 weather, climate and adaptation. First of all we will discuss about effect of sun on climate. We know that the areas near equator is very hot because the sun rays falls directly over there and as we go far away from equator we feel little bit cold because the rays becomes more and more slanting. Now climate and adaptation. First of all we are going to discuss about the animals who are well adapted to live in cold climate like polar regions. The first one is polar bears. It has two thick layers of fur, fat under the skin known as blubber, white fur which helps in camouflage so that it can hide themselves from their predators and also it helps in catching the prey also. The, now the next penguin. Penguin is another bird which is well adapted to live in polar areas. They have thick feathers, fat under the skin which keeps the body warm. They found, they found in group generally they huddle together to keep themselves warm they have streamlined bodies and webbed feet which helps in proper swimming the next is seals it also has a thick layer of fat called blubber this way polar bears penguins and seals these all can keep themselves warm by following this adaptations now let's discuss about the animals which is commonly found in desert areas. First is fennec fox. You might have seen fennec fox. It have large ears. This is known as nocturnal animals. Animals which is very very active during the night time. They come out during the night in search of food but during daytime they hide themselves in a shady places to prevent or to protect themselves from heat of sun. They have long legs and tails and large ears. Fennec fox also have large ears. The ears have blood vessels near the surface. The air blowing across the ears cools the blood which in turn cools the body. And you have studied in the previous classes about camel. Camel is also a sheep of desert. It lives in the desert areas and well adapted to live there. Camel. Let's discuss some adaptation of camel. Camel has a hump in which it stores the fat. It secretes, sorry, it excretes very little. It sweats very little. It drinks a large amount of water at a time and is stored in stomach. These are some adaptations of camel. Let's discuss about the new term that is tropical rainforest. Tropical regions are the regions which is situated near the equator. So, it contains a hot and wet climate and there is a large variety of plants and animals. Red-eyed tree frog which is the animal present here and found in the tropical rainforest. Red-eyed tree frog, it lives on trees and has a sticky pad on its feet that helps it to climb over the trees. Second one is lantern macaque. It is also known as weird app. It is very good climber and lives on trees. Lantern macaque, they gets it all the food on trees and hardly ever comes down. Now the elephant. Elephant is also animal which is commonly found in tropical rainforest. Let's discuss its some important adaptations. Number one is strong sense of smell. Number two, elephant uses its trunk to pull down fruits and leaves to eat. It uses its tusk to tear the bark from trees to eat. It uses its long ears to hear soft sound and to cool itself in hot and humid climate. So these all are about the adaptations of various animals in various climates. So this was students. Today I am going to end the chapter 9 weather climate and adaptation. Just study at home, prepare for your exams, be safe at home. Till then, have a nice day. Thank you.